What's up everybody, how's it going? So uh, today we're here at the trailer, it's at, um, what is today, Saturday? It's Saturday, we're here at the trailer and uh, we're going to replace this thing. Which this is our flagpole. If, uh, if you guys have been watching the channel for, for a while or following my uh, Instagram page, you guys will remember that we used to run a flagpole on the trailer and it was probably one of our most notable features of the truck. Um, well, what had happened was we were taking a Goldhofer trailer out of, uh, I think it came out of Kansas and it went, or it came out of uh, New Jersey, went over to Kansas somewhere. Well, when they swung the piece forward, they actually hit the flagpole and it bent the bottom of it uh, and broke a bolt. So it had bent it enough to where we didn't feel comfortable running it. Um, so basically what we're going to do today is we're going to replace it. Now I've got some stuff in the bed of the truck and I'll be taking you guys through what we're doing and, and our design in it. But uh, basically how it used to work is this is upside down, but this used to slide over one of the chain pockets and then there'd be another bolt right here that clamps it to it. Uh, pretty decent design. Our spacers were a little bit off, so it didn't quite get as tight as we'd like it to. So we're going to fix that on this uh, new one. And yeah, and then you know, flip it over, and the flag just attached here with these couple bolts. But um, we've got a different piece of metal we're going to use. Um, I'm actually getting ready to spray it down with truck bed liner, uh, let that dry so that we can start cutting and, and getting it all together. Um, but yeah, we just we've been wanting to get the flagpole back on, and we just keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. You know, next time we're home, we'll do it. Da da da. And here we are. We haven't haven't done it. So uh, today we're going to fix that. Hey, you got any bungees in the side there? What? Any bungees in the side there? That ain't going to cut it. All right, so basically what we got here is this what's going to be our new flagpole. Um, this is basically just zinc plated, uh, like aluminum, I'm guessing. Uh, and, but but uh, the reason we decided to go with something like this is this is these holes here, aside from not having to drill mounting holes for the flag, this is going to allow air to pass through so there's not quite as much resistance against the flagpole when it's standing up. Um, and then there's another piece of metal there that's going to come off the side here and run down. It's almost an angled support and it'll, we'll cut a slot in it so that it'll slide down over the chain pocket and then we just throw a bungee over it and that'll really give it some support so as not to be wobbling and pulling against the, uh, the chain pocket there. So what we're going to do is, uh, you know, zinc plated stuff obviously rusts. So, um, I'm going to spray this down with some uh, truck bed liner that I got from Walmart. Uh, it's just some, you know, off the shelf, it's like six bucks for the can. So uh, this would be a pretty cheap little setup. Um, I think I spent probably about 30 bucks for the metal uh, in all the bolts. We got all stainless steel hardware because, you know, we just don't like shit that's rusted and looks like crap. So um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, spraying this stuff. He's getting the uh, the drill out and the air, um, the cutoff wheel so that we can actually cut everything to size. And as soon as this stuff is dry, we're going to get it mounted up. And uh, we still have to go get a flag. The flags they had at Home Depot were too big. Um, they would have been touching the deck, so we don't like that. So uh, we still have to run somewhere and get a flag, but at least the pole will be up. The flag's an easy fix. So change of plans. And thinking about working smarter not harder we're gonna mount this get everything rigged up and then I'll spray it down which is probably the smart choice so uh, get that taken care of and let's see where I can put you guys right there you guys gonna stay you gonna stay yeah y'all stay all right so, 
basically this thing's going to slide in here, just like that. Hold there and hold there. Uh, tape, you got the tape measure out? Basically what I'm doing here is I'm just going to measure um, how long we need to cut the second piece that's actually going to go on the other side of the stake pocket that will work as a uh, that will work as like the clamp uh, and then I'll actually hold this thing to the stake pocket so basically we need to cut a piece that's at least seven inches tall. Okay. So, let me I'm gonna have to start the truck build here. So now what we got to do is we got to take a uh, that other piece of steel that we have. Uh, he's already cutting it. Kick up the idle a little bit here on the truck, help him keep some air built. Because we are running it off the, uh, the air that supplies the trailer. We got that little cutoff wheel. So. so, what we've done here is we've marked our second piece of steel. Now, we still have to cut away seven inches of this, and this will become what actually clamps to it but you see this mark here uh, we've got to remeasure this we just kind of drew it uh, haphazardly uh, basically this notch here at this angle is going to be uh, a quarter of an inch thick because that's the thickness of each little side to our uh, our uh, stake pockets. So basically what we'll do is we'll measure that down to a quarter inch, mark it, we'll cut that out so that this piece will actually slide down over the stake pocket. And then we also up here have drawn our uh, two little holes. We didn't know which one we were gonna cut. So probably this one and this will mount this support to the actual flagpole itself. So. We're going to remark, cut these, and we'll see you guys here in a second. All right, guys. So we have the uh, the holes cut, or I'm sorry, the notches cut and the angle cut on the uh, the support piece. So this is the piece that will actually be coming off the back of the uh, flagpole. And like I said, um, that slot is so that it drops down over a chain pocket, and then it'll run up to right the side of the flagpole and then we'll we're actually going to drill in between those two marks and that will be what mounts to the flagpole so um we've got this cut down to size we're about to drill this hole and then we'll be able to start actually mocking everything up uh we have this spare piece here that we got to cut a little bit off of to get it to seven inches and then we'll drill the two holes 
uh, that the bolts will go through. And here's all our stainless steel hardware that we're gonna use. So uh, we also have some spacers to give it that, um, <coughs> the bolts that go here on the flagpole that go top and bottom need to be spaced a quarter inch apart. So we have these uh, uh, basically chrome steel spacers that are quarter inch thick. So they'll sit right there so that the bolts don't actually pinch the metal to in at the top instead of putting pressure on this. So um, it'll make more sense once I show you a little bit further down the down the completion line, but uh, we're getting there. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these four, uh, one, two, three holes, cut this down to size, and then we'll be ready to start uh, assembling everything and then get it over to the paint booth so that we can spray it with some uh, Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. So yeah. All right guys, so we got all the holes drilled in our clamp. And then we got the hole drilled at the top of our support bracket. So now it's time to go see if we got it right. So we'll use longer bolts, two, three, and these. All right, let's see what we got. All right guys, so we got all the holes drilled and we got everything cut. So now it's time to do the first mock-up. So we'll set this all up, see if we screwed up. If we did not, then uh, right, we'll move on. So basically what we've got is, I showed you these, but these are the spacers that I was talking about, little quarter inch spacers that'll go um, right on top of here that'll keep the ends of the support from pinching in so we've got these long bolts here that'll be for down here and we've got some shorter bolts for up top so we're going to uh, assemble this and see what we got i also got a whole mess of washers so we have to cut this off yeah okay, so um, can you get the washers that were down there on the edge of the trailer? Now, theoretically, that should put that flush against that. Uh, other way. There we go. And that hole. Oh, hell. Oh, black wash. You can use lock wash on final assembly. Yeah, I did. Uh Good, good sir, how, how are you? you? Good, good. I was hoping I wouldn't be in your way. Oh no, you're good, sir. I'm through for the day. Through for the day, huh? Yeah. Beer 30? Uh huh? Beer 30? I didn't even say what that. It's beer 30? No. No. Hell, I don't want to do nothing since the more boys out there on the road enough. Oh yeah. Y'all heard about that? Mm-mm. They burned up down the road. Yeah. Three or four trucks at the 20306. Wow. When was that? Four to 310, yeah. When was that? This morning. Oh hell. I would have been back, but I had to dealing with all that. Oh my god. Well, I bet you that was a I mess. I don't nobody get killed, but the way the ambulance came off and I came out of Calhoun, the ambulance came over, not three of them. Yeah. They turned around and went back, so. That That's not a good That's sign. That's not a good sign. Have a yes, sir, you too. Oh, shit, I got a washer.
Wait. Uh, this one come up a little bit we're fucking with this thing at an angle right now. Well, might need to re-drill that hole a little bit. Yeah, uh, because of the space and the washer. The no. Spacer. No. Because it's coming in as an angle. See what I mean? That's why. These fucking things don't fit 3 8 screws. You can make it fit a 3 8 screw. Hey. <clears throat> That's why you do a mock up. Take two. So we're back. Basically, what we just ran into is in all my infinite wisdom, if you see this thing, it's got bolt holes and then it's got just slots. Well, I measured the bolt holes for the bolts that we're going to use. You know, obviously it fits, and I forgot to measure the slots because I wasn't intending on using them. But nothing a drill bit won't fix, so we've reamed those out. Let's see what we got here. a little bit bigger okay because that bolts in a little bit of an angle yep adjustment number two All you gotta do is throw a hook right here, pull it forward. Oh, yeah. Bungee won't move, or the <coughs> won't move. All right, guys. Well. For the lack of paint in a flag, there you have the uh, flag pole. So basically, the flag, the first, the top of the flag will mount up here. And obviously, this will be more rigid once we actually put lock washers on and tighten everything down. But uh, the support here, so we just got one bolt coming through. 
it'll get tightened down and like I said the slot and now it's loose we'll have a bungee cord hooked from here going forward but all that's there to do is prevent from the flagpole from coming back under weight or under wind so that's that um, we'll take it over spray it down clean everything up get everything all bolted together and then tomorrow when we leave before we leave we will have the flag hanging and flying proud. Oh, by the way, got the tires for the truck. They are Pro Comp X Train 37 by 1350 um, 17s. honest with you guys I don't know how the hell somebody does an entire bed of their truck with one of these or ten of these because it's kind of a pain in the ass um, I don't know it's like halfway through your spray you have to stop and shake it up again so that I guess whatever particles in here make it that tacky kind of feel uh, they like kind of stop coming out so I don't know all right guys that'll just about wrap it up for us here um, today, like I said, this was filmed Saturday, so tomorrow, obviously Sunday, um, we will come out here. We're going tomorrow, we're leaving to go up to North Carolina to grab a 98,000 pound track for a Liebherr LR 1750 crawler crane. So, um, when we get here tomorrow, all these pieces will be completely dry and cured, and we will get the flagpole up, the flag installed, and uh, get that all running. So. For you guys, it'll be a quick wait for us, 24 hours. All right, guys, there it is. The flag is flying again on the, the uh, trailer here. So the battleship will look mighty free rolling down the road. Um, it, it actually worked out pretty well the way we anticipated it would. So here's the frame that we built. Basically, like I told you, the washers just space it out there, and then uh, this clamps it to the uh, rub rail. It's nice and, or the uh, stake pocket, it's nice and tight. And then we've got our support here that's nice and tight, and it's just held in here from bouncing out. But basically, all that does is keep this thing from pulling back in a, uh, with all the wind. So that bungee runs up there, and then of course, we got our flag. So come on, wind, blow. Nope, not gonna blow. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get ready here. Like I said, we are leaving out to go to uh, North Carolina. We're running a little bit behind schedule, but so be it. Um, it's Sunday, we shouldn't have any traffic. So it should be a nice ride up there. Beautiful day to let the flag fly. And uh, we will talk to you guys tomorrow, loading a pair of crane tracks with Lenny. Again, so you guys will get to see that Pete and his, uh, I believe he's bringing the five axle the uh phantom so um yeah we will see you guys tomorrow take care thanks for watching